Hi, you guys. Welcome to Wednesday. Nice short day, right? Uh, we are on 4.8. Let's get started on that. Now, I want to remind you, you're supposed to be copying down one page of notes every day. And then, of course, um, on Friday, you're going to have a couple extra notes to do, okay? So make sure you're getting those down. I will be checking that a week from today. So next Wednesday, when I'm back in class, woo! So excited, I'm ready. So um, make sure you have those done, okay? Oops, and I, oh, hold on, let me pause. I didn't download the new one. For you, it'll be like a lickety split. All right, and we're back, see. Could you even tell that I paused for a second? Anyway, all right. Here we go, 4.8. Number one says that we are going to simplify. All right, so this is what we were doing um, earlier in this chapter. My wider stylus. Um, so we have 5x. Oh, this is not a good. Oh, that works all right. Look, so I found this is my little tiny stylus, Amazon ba uh, Basics that I got in March. And it's so little, but I thought I would give it a shot, but I don't think it's gonna write very well. well that's not bad. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, so yeah, I don't know why. Put the side, front, scribble's fine. Oh, that's weird. It's like I had to get the ink warmed up even though it's not ink. Weird, I don't know. Anyway, looks good, right? I, we'll see if it works. Otherwise, I have my favorite purple it's starting to rip. So, all righty, goodness. 5X minus X plus four. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I think I have to push harder. I don't know if I like that. All right, so first thing we need to do is get rid of these parentheses. And the way we do that is by distributing. So remember that this is actually a negative one right there. So when we distribute, we are going to go this way, negative one times X and negative one times four. So when we rewrite, we will have five X plus a negative X plus a negative four because negative times a positive is a negative plus three X. And now we're going to combine like terms. So all of the X's here, five X and a negative X and a three X. So five take away one is four plus three is seven X. Oh. oh, come on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am determined to make this new stylus work. So seven X and then we just have the negative four. All right, there we go. Maybe I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, so number one is seven X plus negative four. All right, get the, oh, <laughs> there we go. Get that erased. All right, and on to number two. Number two says solve, and so that means to solve for n. That is our variable or unknown. So we have 3n minus 15 equals negative 21. Okay, so first thing is let's add the opposite. And now we're going to solve for n, which means get n by itself on one side of the equal sign. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add the opposite of 15. Whatever I do to one side of the equal sign to keep it equal, I have to do it to the other side. That leaves me with 3n equals negative 21 and positive 15 leaves me with a negative six. 
three times n, opposite of that is division. So I will divide both sides by three. Leaves me with n equals negative two. Okay, the way that you would check that is you would uh, plug that back into your um, original equation here and make sure that it works. All right, erase all of this. In number five, this is of course nothing you would ever do on your math test, right? It says you randomly guess the answers to two questions on a multiple choice test. Each question has four choices. What is the probability that you guess the correct answer to both questions? Okay, so um, for this one, it's a probability problem. So it says you guess the answers to two questions. On each question, there's four choices. Okay, so out of those four choices, there is one correct out of four. That's the first problem you guessed on. Second problem you guessed on, again, there is one out of four is going to be the correct answer. Multiply those out, we get one sixteenth is the probability that you guess the right answer. All right. Okay, and that brings us down to today's work. All right, so Let's read this here. Tom, Dick, and Harry are splitting the cost of a new computer. Tom will pay 34% of the cost. Dick will pay 40, uh, 0.40 of the cost. So we know that that's 40%. And then Harry will pay the remainder. What percent of the total cost is Harry paying? Okay, so um, let's look at what it says to do here. So it says rewrite all numbers as decimals. So we already have 0 0.40. To get 34, we know that 34 out of 100 is uh, 0.34, right? So that's 34 hundredths. Okay, so we're going to have, uh, let's see here. Oh, and here we're adding them together, oops to get 100%, um, okay? So what we do know is that Tom is paying 34%. So that is 0 0.34, so that's 34 hundredths, plus Dick is paying 0.4, plus we don't know how much Harry is paying. That's what we need to find out. And all of those together is going to equal 100%, which as a decimal, mess that one up, <laughs> as a decimal is 1.0, okay? And I, I guess I should have, what I didn't do is, so here is the numbers that we are given, okay? And then here it is as the decimal. So that's what I have written up here, okay? So now the next step is we're going to solve for X. So let's combine like terms, these two here. And that is going to give us 0 0.74 plus X equals 1.00. Now you see the reason they're going to the hundreds place is because so is the 34 and the 40. All right. So now let's add the opposite, solve for x, negative 0.74. Okay, and that's going to say x equals 0 0.26. Now to make that out of um, 100, so we're going to say 26 out of 100, or that's going to be 26%. Okay, so that's how much um, Harry is paying. So for the rest of the problems, that's what we're figuring out. And you'll see that we have um, the two 
percentages that we know are going to be A and B, and then we're going to solve for X. And all of it will be out of 100%. Okay? So, here we go. All right, so number two, let's see, I think I need to make this, move this Chromebook here. All right. Number two, we have 28%. Ooh. That is not working. All right, let me switch to my old stylus. All right. That one's not working at all. There we go. All right, 28%. Oh, and I turned, I unmuted. All right, 28% plus 0 0.32, and that's going to equal 100%. Okay, so to put, make all of this into decimals, uh, well, our 0 0.32 is all set. We're going to put it out of 100, so 28 out of 100 plus 0 0.32 equals 100 out of 100. Okay, so this is how we get our decimals. So now we have 0 0.28 because 28 hundredths, reading this as a decimal, that's 28 hundredths, plus 32 hundredths equals 100 divided by 100 is one. So I wrote really uphill here, okay? Oh, do you guys see what I messed up on? I'm so worried about my stylus. What did I forget? I forgot Harry. How much is Harry going to be paying for this computer? All right. Sorry, Harry. So plus X equals 100%. All right. Plus X equals 100 over 100. And plus X equals 1.00. All right. Back on track. So we're going to combine like terms, these two here. And so that is going to give us uh, 0 0.28, 0. Let's see here, that gives us 10, carry your one, V6 plus X equals 1.00. Add the opposite to both sides. That leaves us with X equals 0 0.40 or 40 hundredths, which we know that that is 40%. All right, number two. If I erase that too quick for you, just rewind a little bit and you can pause it. Hopefully you kept up. Okay, number three. All right, so we have 32, look, I tried to go back, oh well. 32% plus 0 0.36 plus X, I didn't forget this time, equals 100%. Convert to decimals gives us 32 hundredths plus 36 hundredths plus X equals 1.00. Combine like terms, these two here. And that is going to give us 0 0.68 or 68 hundredths plus X equals 1.0. Add the opposite. So, oh, so we can solve for X. Okay. 
And that is going to give us X equals 32 hundredths, which equals 32%. Okay, we got one, we got, or two, we've got three. Oh, I ain't took my answers, so there it is there. Okay, number four. Looks like Tom is going to pay 30%. There we go, Tom is 30%. Uh, Dick is playing 2,800. Harry, we don't know. And that's going to equal 100%. Convert to decimals. So this gives us 30 hundredths. 2,800 plus X equals one or 1. 1.00 since we are going to subtract the hunt to the hundredths place. Combine like terms gives us 58 hundredths plus X equals one. Add the opposite. Whatever I do to one side of the equal sign, I have to do to the other. And that is going to leave us with X equals 42 hundredths or 40 2%. There's our answer here. We are done up there. Right. On to number five. There we go. Okay, number five. We have 26% plus 36 hundredths plus X. And of course, we want all of that to equal 100% of the total cost of the computer. Convert to decimals gives us 26 hundredths plus 36 hundredths plus X equals one. Combine like terms. All right, so this is going to be zero point, let's see, six plus six is 12, carry our one. Three plus two is five, plus one is six. All right, does that seem right? Three, yeah, all righty. 26, no, that does not seem right to me. 36, 42, oh, no, that is right. All right, 62 hundredths plus X equals one. Let's add the opposite. And we're going to do that to both sides. There we go. It says X equals 38 hundredths which is 38%. There it is. What was our first answer? 28, 30, 80, 28, that was 40. All right, that was our first answer. All right, that was number five. All right, looks like we've got some extra answers on this one. Okay. Oh, and there, number six. All right, we have Tom, 34% plus 3,600 for Dick. Unknown for Harry, it's going to make 100%. Convert to decimals. Equals one. Combine like terms. 
And this is going to be six plus four is 10, seven, the hundredths. Add the opposite to both sides. Gives, oh, put my decimal in the wrong spot. There we go. We went seven tenths or 70 hundredths. And that's going to leave us with 30 hundredths, which is 30%. All right. Okay. Yeah, that brings us to number seven. Number seven says, in the following equation, both A and B are integers. Determine the value of A and B. All right, this is something we are doing in eighth grade math, so this is awesome. All right, so uh, I think I'll rewrite it over here. A times 2x minus 5 equals b minus 16x. All right, so what we want to do is let's get, um, we have to solve, all right? So, um, all right, so I'm going to be honest, I'm looking at this problem, I don't feel like it's set up correctly. Yeah, I, I have no idea how to do this problem. It's set up differently. So I don't know if it's written wrong or if I am just not seeing what we're supposed to do. So, hey, skipping number seven, all right? So you do not have to do number seven unless you like get it and I'm just not seeing it right. And if you do, uh, do it and then uh, send me a picture of it or show me next week. So I'd appreciate that. Alrighty, so make sure you are doing your notes, keep working hard, and as you go through your Wednesday, remember who you are, remember what you stand for, and lead by example. Bye, guys.